Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be learning how do we install packages without the internet on another computer. But first, before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel members. These are Mislav, Darius Roos, and Vitorius. They get early access to videos such as this one right here, a little badge next to their name for videos and live streams, and they get prior priority response to comments because they have a notification sent to my phone anytime they comment on a video. So, let's get into this. Now, let's say that you have a bit of software you want to install on a computer that isn't networked and you don't want to network or you have difficulty getting networked. Let's say it's a CLI based machine and you're having difficulty getting it networked. So, First things first, uh, we're just going to do the usual NeoFetch, just to see the system. This is what I'm running. Um, it's all good. So, first thing we're going to do is this is a this is for Debian-based systems. However, this should also work on other operating systems. This is just for Debian-based ones, so a good chunk of the market. So, let's just quickly make this better, uh, bigger even. Yep, all looks good. So. In this case, we are just going to download Wine and actually go through the process. So, first thing we need to do is we make, need to make sure that our caches, our apt cache is clear. Now, doing this will ensure that any other downloads that were previously in the cache are cleared out. So we can then move forward. So, to do this, we do sudo apt get clean. This clears out the apt cache. Uh, because you're doing this with sudo, it will indeed ask for a password. I may have a visitor in the form of my dog because she is oh, finally awakened. Once we've done that, we will have to choose which wine package we want to download, air or branch. In my case, I'm just going to download the stable branch. So to do that, we do sudo, so super user do as, at get hyphen hyphen download only. So the download only just says pull it down, don't you dare try and install it. Uh, install, as you can see I've done this before uh, for my own operating systems. 1HQ stable. Hello hand. Hello you, you finally awake? So I just sang a load of the dog. What you'll do then, is it'll then go, ah yes, do you wish to download this? And in this case the answer is yes. I do wish to download this, and it's going to download all the stuff. As we can see here, it fetched 198 megabytes in three seconds, downloading at 69 megabytes per second. Nice. And download completed in only download mode. So what we then want to do is just do sudo apt get download only dist upgrade. So anything else you need to do? Well, come here then. Come say hello. Hang on. I don't want to stay. Come here, you. Hi. Oh. Hang on. Are you trying to get to my arm? Is that what it is? Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, say hello. This is Poppet. She is my assistant today. So once you've downloaded what you need, what you want to get, uh, you will then have to. Well, you can do it in a few ways. In this, I'll just show you where it is on the disk. Nope, that is my Windows disk. So what you want to do is you want to go to your home directory. In this case, here, and then from there onwards, um, well, file system even. Sorry, but go to your file system. And then it'll be your apt cache will be in var and then in cache apt and archives. And here you can see this is everything we have just downloaded. It's all there. Now there are a few things that we need to be able to do this. So we'll do this as if we were on actually on the system. So First thing we want to do is say hello to the dog. Yes, hello, sweetheart. 
How you doing? So I loaded the dog and have a drink from a nondescript can that is the opposition to a CC brand. Hello. Hello. Now once we've done that, we will go to the desktop. Desktop. And we'll make a new directory. We'll just call this make directory one. Never mind make directory download. And then what we want to do is we want to do copy recursively everything in var uh, cache at archives into flash download. So ls does that. So we want to. Ah, yes, my apologies. I was having a small dumb. Happens to the best of us, don't worry. So, uh, copy recursively var cache c a c h e uh, apt archives into dot dot slash well, into dot slash download. So, do that. Runs it with that. And now, if we just do cd into download, we should see ls. We have archive cd archives. And we have everything we have just seen downloaded and installed yeah so if we now want to actually install these uh what we can do is we can do sudo uh, dpkg so download well download package or I, I can't remember what dpkg stands for but it's the actually the installation stuff yes you tired you tired Uh, dpkg uh, hyphen i uh, asterisk risk there we go dot deb so it will then install every dot deb file so in this case everything in red here uh, we whack enter and it then goes through the process of installing everything now there may be some errors in this case as we can see here errors were encountered while processing and that's because i already have these this installed don't know that's because I already have this installed. But if you were installing it on a system that didn't previously have this installed, it should then just work. But in my case, there are errors processing it because, as we can see here, Wine HQ stable conflicts with Wine, Wine HQ Devel provides Wine and is present and installed. I already have this installed and it's going, what are you trying to do? Like, seriously, man, what are you trying to do? So. We will follow this again, but with a different bit of software just to prove it works. So, leave this directory and then rm hyphen or rm hyphen rf uh, archives. And then we want to do uh, sudo apt get clean, which then clears out the cache repository. sudo apt get download only neofetch. Have a look at that. Neo fetch. Ah, yes. Oh, if I did that. And now, as we can see, it's just having a fit with itself. And then we do sudo apt get hyphen hyphen download only. Download hyphen only. And then dist upgrade. And then what we can then do is just do go back up to the point where I yep uh, CD archives uh, CD download even ah yes well I don't know why that didn't work actually yeah I don't know why that didn't work uh How much just because I already have it installed? Either way. The button the same thing applies, but if you don't have it installed, it goes through and it does that. Isn't that right, you? Yeah, isn't that right? So, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. If you hit the dislike, I think you can make this one sad. 
Uh, if you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. You can become a channel member, channel member for as little as 99 pence a month, which helps me uh, buy coffee, be able to function to make these videos, and also maybe buy the occasional tripe treat for the dog. He very much loves tripe. Anyway, I have been Nick. This has been Poppet. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, my colonels, don't panic when you use Linux. Goodbye.